Okay, here's the uh, hopping robot mechanism. This is using one of the TT motors. You can use any of them. This is the higher speed one. If you use the lower speed one, then you could uh, increase your spring or, or cam angle so that you could hop even higher. This particular one I wanted to hop really fast. So instead of running this one right now at 3 volts, it will run at 3 volts. I'm going to run it on uh, 3A battery, so 4.5 volts. Give a little faster cam hopping action. Let's get it over here so you can kind of get a view of all the angles. I've had something glued on there, that's why that's discolored. So your normal TT motor is sitting vertically in here, and there's a cam on both shafts that push the legs down. You can use different springs, and there's three different holes that the screw can go into to pull the string tighter. So I have adjustment for when I add a body to this, because the body's going to add mass. I don't want to keep the hopping. That way I can adjust my uh, my spring tension. But what basically brought this all around was back in the 2016. And I'll put a link to this on my website. I had made uh, 30 hopping robots, basically 3D printed these bodies and then took the um, mechanical wind-up guts from a dollar store I can't remember if they were hopping rabbits or hopping chickens, might have, because it was around Easter time. Could have been either one, and uh, did that. But I'd uh, completely forgotten about this until, oh well. Let's before we go on. Th this idea came to me based on the vintage robots. For example, Rosie. Let's move over here a little bit. Was a hopping robot, one of the more rare ones, and these jumping robots, which were more more common. In both these cases, they tip the body forward, and then when the body flies back, that lifts the feet off the ground and gets them jumping. Neither one of these designs, and Rosie's is always in a bad pose because she's like bent over all the way. <clears throat> sort of like uh, the hopping frogs and the hopping chickens and <laughs> all the other wind-up hopping toys they've made. So the nice thing about going to the uh, new battery op design is that we can go vertical or any angle you want. But what got me thinking about it again was when I saw this uh, video by uh, Greg Zumwalt. And if you don't follow Greg's work, he has a YouTube channel, Thingiverse channel. Um, he's, he's all over the internet. You can find all kinds of his projects. But he did a, a little battery-operated version one, and I'll put a link to this as well in the description so you can find his channel because you'll uh, really enjoy some of the projects that he's done. And I hadn't even considered uh, going battery operated. I mean, I'd done wind up. So when I saw how he did his battery up, when I went, well, how can I do this using the little motors that I like to use because they're so inexpensive and easy to find and, and everything? So I started designing this. So in my next video, I'm going to slap a body on here and show you what it looks like in the end. The I'm hoping that it's going to look like Rosie the Robot only not bent all the way over like she is in her previous 10 years and now we'll be able to have her stand a little bit more vertically actually the angle of the feet can be changed this is about as steep as I plan on going out of a set of legs where it's more vertical where it kind of hops more in place <clears throat> but uh, that'll be for the next one so stay tuned